Let's create a migration for post table, post model, and the seeder that will add some test data for us. We will start with creating a migration for post table. Great. Now let's see what columns do we need in the post table. Well, every post needs a title. So we're going to create a new column of string type named title. We also need to know which user created that post. So we are going to use integer type on the user ID column name. We also need the content of that post, which is going to be long text, and it will be named content. I think this is all we need, so I will execute this migration. Great. If you take a look at the database now, you can see that there is one more table named posts. So let's create a model for that table. Great. Now let's create the seeder for the posts. Now, using the db package, we are going to manually insert a few posts so we can test them. So we are using db package table method is named posts and we are going to insert a new post now if you want to insert more posts you can set every post under the array so something like this and then every new post, you're just putting them in an array. Now, under this array, we need to define a couple of things. And the first one is user ID. So let's check what user ID do we have. And as you can see, the ID is one. The second parameter we need is title. Now you can set this uh, to whatever you want. In this case, we are going to name this post one. And of course we need the content, which will be equals to post content one or post one content. Now make this post to post to content. And let's create post three as well. Now, before we can seed this, we need to execute one command, which is composer dump auto load.
Great. Now we will use PHP Artisan database seed and we will define the class because we only want this seeder to be executed. And let's check the content of posts table. And as you can see, everything went well.